All right, what's going on, guys? Something came in the mail today. I'm not gonna show you my address, but if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you know most likely what this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this, and then I don't know what video this is going to go into, but I'll probably just throw it in with a vlog, so here we go. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm trying to put one on. I'm gonna have to iron them because they're wrinkly because they were packaged, but they fit. Let's see if I can get the lighting right. They fit pretty good. Um, the only issue I'm having is these come down and they cover this and this, which is for this piece, the side piece, so I'm probably gonna have to cut little notches out so that those can fit through because I want to tuck all this behind that piece. I want it to look as factory as possible. I think once these get ironed out, they're going to look really good. They're at least going to do, do what I want them to do, which is protect the seats. Um, so yeah. All right, guys, I figure I'd show you this um, if you ever have to take these off. So when you take it off, there is a screw hole right here. And it's one of these um, short little guys. And then there's another one of those right here behind the handle. So you have to take the handle off um, to get to that one normally. And this has a lineup mark. See this right here? And then in here, there's a little notch. So you just have to line that up. Um, and then the screw that goes in there is this one right here. It's a little longer than the other two. But if you ever have to take that off, that's how you do it. Um, there's a clip right here and there's a line up. There's a little plastic pin. I think it's either here or here that lines up into um, the bracket. And then you have to also make sure when you're putting this on or taking this off, there's a little plas this plastic extends down here you have to get that over everything before you can line up everything else all right you guys so here they are all in this is the only part i don't like these wrinkles i can get out just by ironing them but that's the only part i don't like but the all black looks really really good i'll show you the other side Once these wrinkles are out, they're just gonna look so good. But look how dark that interior is. Oof. All right, what's going on guys? It's a new day. This vlog is gonna be kind of all over the place, but it's okay. Um, so right now I'm heading to Walmart. I gotta pick up a few things. Um, I posted on my Instagram a post about what is going to be coming up next for the engine bay there's a few things um so well really only two right now so one those plastics are going in the explorer engine cover and the fuse panel and then whenever i find the uh um intake cover i'll put that in but the second thing i'm doing is painting the engine bay so on rangers obviously there's not much to paint on the engine bay but i'm going to be painting the um radiator support and I'm going to be painting the uh, inner parts of the fenders that you can see so basically just where it bolts up to uh, the body of the truck so I already have the um, paint matched um, paint and a spray can and the clear that I need so really all I need is masking um, paper or, or like masking plastic with the tape on it so it's like the pre-taped stuff and then I need some sandpaper and that should be it um, but yeah we're heading to Walmart right now to grab that stuff and then after that I'm going to head to my storage unit and there's a couple ideas that I've been thinking about for the um, Jesus these people just couldn't decide where they're freaking going um, 
and then there's like a few things that I've been thinking about for the interior that I'll tell you guys about after I get done going to Walmart and grabbing all that stuff. So let's go do that and then I'll catch up with you guys later. So I'm not going to start this today, but I wanted to show you what I'm talking about. And sorry about the lighting, it's kind of dark in here. So this is what's going to be getting painted. This front radiator support, the inner parts of these fenders on both sides. And I think that's it. I don't think I'm going to touch the back there. Um, but if you can tell, so like, you so it's kind of a flat, just kind of primered color. And then you look at better you can see it actually has the flake and the actual base coat so I'm pretty sure they just primer the engine bays and so um, I just got some of this polishing stuff just to scratch it up a little bit and then after that once I lay the um, base coat and then the clear then I can wet sand it and buff it um, but I think it's gonna look a lot better and it'll make the engine bay pop a little bit more so I'm not gonna start on it today but I just wanted to give you guys an idea. Um, also, so yeah, I told you that. And then I got this stuff. It's kind of a ripoff. It's Rust-Oleum hand mask film. It's got like a taped edge on it. Um, here's what I would say. There's stuff on Amazon. Maybe I'll leave a link down below. That's a lot, ch well, it's cheaper for what you get. So it's like $12 and you get three different rolls and three different sizes. Whereas this, I think by itself was like, Four, four bucks, which is a big ripoff. So I'll link it down in the description below, the Amazon link, and you guys can go check it out if you ever need um, some masks and stuff like that. All right, so I told you there's some things that I'm thinking about for the interior. Okay, so you see these? They're kind of like a gray, dark gray color. I tried dyeing them, but they, for some reason, they just didn't take the color like the headliner did. Um, and honestly, like, I don't know about you guys, like, I love that it has the mirror and it's got the LEDs in it. And it's just kind of a cool piece. But I honestly don't use these very much. Um, like, especially since I've got the tinted visor right there. And so what I'm thinking of doing is just deleting them completely. Um, and what I mean by that is just taking, taking it out and then making some delete plates for it. So just taking the shape of this, cutting into like some plastic or like some thicker aluminum and painting it black and putting it up there. Um, I don't know. I think that'd be kind of a cool idea. Um, you guys can leave it in the comments below what you guys think, but I just don't use these and I, I'm not super, super hyped on them. And so I might just delete them, so. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the seats out completely so I can see from the bottom and figure out where I need to cinch it up. Because yesterday when I tried doing this one, I got the side good, but still a lot of stuff needs to be cinched up. So I'm just going to take the seats out and um, adjust them that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the other seat out. I'm not gonna show you that. Um, so this will probably be the last you see of the seats and getting the seat covers um, how I want them in this video. I know there's a lot of this content in here. So I'll just show you them in. And then I think the only thing we have left in this video is q and A is what I'm gonna put in here. So. Stay tuned for that, and then let's hope these seat covers and seats look a lot more factory than they were before. All right, you guys, here's the finished product. Still some wrinkles, but 
I think it looks really good. I'm gonna go vacuum everything out because it did get pretty dirty. I'll show you the other side. There you go. Looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with it. For them being cheap seat covers, the fact that I was able to get them to look like this, that's super nice. So if you guys like this, give this video a thumbs up or drop a comment down below of what you think. But anyway, that's the final product. I'm gonna go vacuum it out and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, what's up you guys? It's time for the Q&A portion of this little vlog. Okay, so I'm going to just put a screen capture up somewhere over here so you guys can see it, but I'm gonna be reading off of my iPad right here. So we're gonna start off. This one comes from Jaden WBU15 underscore on Instagram. He asked, how did you get your LED visor lights? Been trying to find some for my truck. Okay, so yeah, it took me a while to find them, but I have it right here and I'll probably try and find a link and put it in the description for you. But I don't know if you can see that. I got them off of um, superbrightleds.com and the part number is F30-WHP-12V. So I'll try and find a link and put it in the description, but that's where I found my LED lights. And for you guys who want to know what he's talking about, I'll show you. So the lights he is talking about are these right here. Boom, boom. Uh, usually they're just the regular yellows, and these are actually really hard to find. Like they're like, uh, they're like that small. They're like really small lights. Anyway, that's what he's talking about. But I'm probably gonna be deleting these soon. So I don't know. Hit me up. I might just sell them to you. All right. So our second question comes from. Brendan underscore Buckner 119. He says, I need some offset or some spacers or both. It's stock, not even that cool, bub. Uh, I don't, I don't really know how to <laughs> um, reply to that. I don't know if that's a question or if you're saying that I need some offset or you need, you need offset. Um, if you're asking, if, if you're telling me that I need offset, or some spacers. I'm like iffy on whether I should do spacers um, because you run into a lot of problems. And honestly, like I'd want a little bit of poke, but it's not really something that I'm looking into doing right now. The truck rides fine and I don't really want to run into any suspension issues. But if you want some spacers, if that's what you're asking, if you need them, um, go for it if it's something you want to do. It's just something that I'm not really pushing to um, get done on this truck. So let's move on to the next question. All right, so our next question comes from Dylan Young. He asked, how hard is it to install the Explorer console and the other add-ons in your truck? Okay, so I don't know if you're talking about the overhead console or the center console. Um, but both are pretty easy. The overhead console, obviously you have to do some wiring, um, but th those wiring like diagrams and what you need to do can be found on any of the forums. Um, the center console is super easy. Um, you just have to make sure you get, there's a back bracket that goes into the floor of the truck. And then there's a front bracket that goes into the dash of our trucks. Um, other than that, it's not really that hard. As far as like the center console, um, you just have to self tapper the brackets in on the back. The front bracket attaches to the dash itself. There's already holes for it. You just have to take out the ashtray and um, everything that's right there. Um, the overhead console, the only hard part about it is, is cutting your headliner because you have to cut a hole for the OHC bracket to fit inside um, in between the headliner and the um, roof of your truck and then you have to drill the um, bracket into um, the roof of the truck. I have a post um, on my Instagram. I'll show a screenshot of it right here and uh, you can go and look at that uh, for the overhead console um, if that's what you're talking about. If you're talking about the center console it's really self-explanatory and if you look it up on the forums it's easy to find. So yeah let's move on to the next question. 
All right, the next question comes from 4.0 silver underscore dollar. And he says, what's the miles on the Ranger? Well, let's check right now. All right, so we've got 88,327 miles on the truck. So pretty low miles. Okay, so our next question comes from Jacob Porter Penrod, and he asks, how can someone who knows nothing about trucks get into the topic? Um, so I'm just gonna widen this a little bit and say um, the topic of automotive or just cars in general. I think this is a, I mean, I think anyone could be interested in this topic. Um, especially like if you're the type of person who wants to know how to fix something like simple things on your own on your car who wants to know how to do oil changes change a tire um, check fluids like just daily maintenance I think this is a really fun topic to get into um, so what I would say is like obviously I think YouTube is where I've learned a lot of the things I know about cars obviously I'm an automotive major and so I learn a lot in school and that's more of like the technical like more in-depth side but if you just want to get on to like a surface level of understanding um, about cars and trucks um, in general I would say YouTube is like the best place to go um, I've always joked that a lot of the stuff I've learned in school I could have learned um, on YouTube and some of it I have learned like I learned it before I even got into school um, Just by watching YouTube videos. So I would say if you want to get into the topic of trucks or cars um, Then go watch a YouTube video if you go watch YouTube videos about your car or truck that you own and Learn how things work learn how to change the oil learn how to change the wiper blades just simple things um, it might not become a hobby, but it's definitely useful information. So thanks for that question. That was really good. All right, so this next one comes from Ida underscore Ranger 208, and they ask, what gears do you have? On my truck, I have the 410 gears. Um, yeah, I don't know how to elaborate on that. Um, but I will show you this. I'll show you how you can figure out what gears you have on your Ranger. And you look at your sticker right here. Um, there's a few things that you can learn. I know this is gonna be sideways. Here, let me go this way. So, your paint code, you can see right here, YN. Um, for your axle, you see this, R7. Um, you just have to look it up on the internet, um, but this is the 410 gear. Um, so if you ever wanna know what gears you have, just go look right here in your door sill. If you ever wanna know what color you have, um, just go look right here in your door sill. There's a lot of information that you can find out right here. All right, this next one comes from Bobcat668. They ask, where is the line drawn between accessorizing and doing a build? Okay, so when it comes to like the definition of what a build is, I know a lot of people think of a build as, um, you know, doing mo engine work, um, lowering the car, raising the car or truck, whatever it is, whatever kind of vehicle you have. Um, but to me what a build is, it's almost like um, an artist, like when an artist looks at like a block of um, stone that they're going to um, make a sculpture out of, um, it's kind of like a outward expression of who they are. Um, and so when someone, is, when someone says, oh this follow my build or um, come and learn more about my build, a build is just something that they're creating. Um, it doesn't have to be motor work or engine work or it doesn't have to be any of these like crazy extravagant things like a pre-runner build or like um, a drag build whatever it is a build is something that someone creates um, whether it's a simple build or a crazy um, super exciting build like mine mine is not I mean it's not super exciting but to me um, it's it's a hobby, it's fun, and I love what I've done to my truck and what I will do. Um, my truck, I've always said, is OEM plus build. It's simple, it's not gonna ever be, most likely it's not ever gonna be lifted with like a lift kit or keys or anything. Um, it's never gonna be anything crazy, but that's just the type of person I am. I want things simple, I want them to work, and I want it to be reliable, but I want it to look good. And so that's kind of what my build is. So when there's, as far as like a line between accessorizing and a build, um, I think those two things can be used interchangeably. Um, so yeah, a build is whatever you want it to be. Whatever your vision is, that's a build. 
Um, and as long as you have a vision for what you're doing, you've got to build. So don't let anyone tell you that just because you didn't lift your truck or because you didn't lower your car or do any engine work, that it's not a build. If you're putting um, your heart into something and creating something that you love, that's your build. So yeah, thanks for that question. I think that's all um, of the questions that I got. So if you guys have any more questions, put them down in the comments and I will do another Q&A sometime. So yeah, um, I'm just going to end this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. This was kind of a different kind of video, just kind of a mashup of everything I did during the week um, when I filmed. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. Thanks, guys.